Yo, Ski, what's up, everybody, man? Y'all know who I be. It's your man, Pooh. C-Y-G-G, -G, man. Don't forget to, you know what I'm saying, hit the like on this video, man, so I can keep making more like this. But let's talk about one secret technique, man, that you guys can use if you have a prototype, or well, a defensive prototype in the yard. And that is using the L1 button. I don't know why. I seen this on the loading screen, and I thought this to myself. I was like, yo, I need to try this out while grinding my prototypes. I need to see how effective this lock on is. So what I did was I used my blanket prototype. And as you guys can see, boom, I literally stick with people step for step. If you got a prototype, bro, I'm telling you, hey, if you got a defensive prototype, it's over with. Now, as, as you guys can see, look at this. I'm not even pressing. I'm just running and I'm sticking with him step for step. Even when he swerves a little bit, my character continues to stay with him step for step. Now that was with the blanket. So I was like, you know what? Let me try my lock prototype out. Cause if it was that good with the blanket prototype, how good is it with the lock? So I got on my lock and then I was running. Look at this, won't, won't. Look at that, step for step mirroring every, every step he takes, man. And I was like, Yo, I like, man, did I just, yo, look at this, uh, step for step. So then I was like, let's use the jacked up prototype, man, which was basically Jamal Adams. He was on my team anyway. So look at this, won't, it pulls me in front of him. It literally pulled me in front of him. He ran the stop route. It pulled me in front of him and I end up picking off the pass, man. And of course, you know, I did a little extra after that, but man, bro, I'm telling you, this actually works, man. If you got a defensive prototype that got coverage, man, it's gonna work. Now, the problem where it can cover, like it can cover people like the Fast Cat because the Fast Cat is fast, but it has no release. Now, if it doesn't have a release, it can actually jam and stick with these prototypes step for step. So the Lamar Jacksons, the Fast Cats, you know, um, the Buffalo prototypes, all those prototypes, it can stick with. Now, the You Can't Guard prototypes, and the Yak, I mean the Rackzilla, excuse me, I tried it with them. I got my ass burnt by uh, Mike uh, Thomas trying to do this. Now, another thing I realized, you just can't sit there and hold L1. That's another thing I realized. Like, you actually got to at least try to jam first and then hold L1 and then know when to sprint for an interception. Now, this is how it looks when you're just holding L1. Look at that. Even though I was still sticking with them, my character showed no burst for the ball because all I was doing was just holding L1. You cannot just hold L1. You got to be able to move with them too. And that's what I realized. I was like, all right, let me go for the press first. Oh, if I don't get the press, hold L1, sprint with them. Boom. There it goes right there. So I'm telling you, if you got a defensive prototype, man, you really need to consider using this tip, man. Um, that way you can be able to stick with any wide receivers. But like I said, man, the Yakzilla, uh, I keep saying the Yakzilla because I'm thinking the yards after catch, but it's run after catch. It's the Rackzilla. The thing is, since they have a release, if you miss um, trying to press them and stuff like that or just hold L1, um, what's going to happen is they're going to get off of you. They're going to get off you and they're going to have a lot of yards. And another thing you don't want to do when using this is you don't want to hold L1 and press X at the same time. Because what it's going to do is going to make your player look like you're going for a strip because you're going to end up missing your press. So I know some people are going to think to themselves, all right, I'm a hold L1 and I'm going to press down the X to try to jam. No, in order to actually properly do this, you have to jam first and then hold L1. Now here's uh, an example of how to properly do it. Now as you guys can see, I'm gonna jam first. You know what I'm saying? Boom, jam at the line, then go L1. Cause he wasn't, he was just doing that regular flat. He wasn't doing anything spectacular or nothing like that. He was just running a regular flat. I thought he would've did something different, but that was pretty much it. I tried to get many more clips for you guys to show you. Cause I mean, I, I was recording, trust me. But I didn't really wanna make the um, video too long. Um, also, man, like I said, man, another thing that this hole in L1 does is when you got people behind the line of scrimmage pitching the ball to each other, it keeps track of where your player is at. Now, if you're running zone, um, you can easily get out of zone coverage by holding L1 doing this. Also, um, 
I advise you, I mean, I wouldn't say do it too much because it all depends. If you're running zone, you'll probably be better off just manning your zone because then if you hold L1 while running zone, it's just going to switch characters on you. You know what I'm saying? So um, I hope that this video helped you guys go out there and try it out and let me know how effective using this um, technique was for you guys because I'm telling you, I know it works. But with that being said, man, it's your man Pooh, C-Y-G-G, -G, and I'm out.